All right, let's just make this clear. I know everybody knows about this whole drama situation with this Pokemon, Alinity, Dr. Disrespect, the Twitch Terms of Service, and all that shit about Twitch. To be honest, the whole community on Twitch is just pretty whack. I'm just gonna make this clear. I don't want to be part of Twitch. The reason why I don't want to be part of Twitch anymore is because of the Pokemon drama, the Alinity drama, Dr. Disrespect, the Twitch Terms of Service, and the bots, viewership, the bands, greedy, greedy streamers, and the whole environment itself. And also, this video is not scripted. I'm just letting people know this is from straight from my heart. I just want to go talk about on each thing that I want to talk about. Hopefully, we can just get this through and say what I got to say. First off, Pokemon is actually a piece of shit. Pokemon couldn't even take criticism. He's a whole hypocrite. The reason why I really don't like Pokemon and her fan base is because she's a quote-unquote simp protector and that she also wants to have respect if she really thinks that she wants to be the queen of twitch so-called mom of twitch let's just make this real no one gives a shit about you pokemon no one will is because you can't really take criticism serious what you mainly do is once you hear the criticism you just ban people and you just copyright strike people people will criticize 24 7 and and that's just completely weak. If I had a friend of mine, a guy for an example, and then and won't take criticism, he's just end, gonna end up playing the innocent card and start purging the whole chat on Discord and, and things like that. Pokey, to me, to be honest, I don't want people to be attacking Pokey. She actually has a boyfriend. There is this one video that she said about her own private life, and someone asked her a question about it. The question was, are you single? Made a whole sentence about her private life. First of all, when a girl tells you that, it means, yes, she has a boyfriend, but she's not going to tell you who. And that's a problem. She's not really straight up. Me, I have experience with females. I approach to females, and we have a nice conversation, right? And I asked her phone number. It's just a numbers game. And if she say no, and if she say I have a boyfriend, then she has a boyfriend. <laughs> Alinity, oh my god. Alinity threw her cat over her chair, fed vodka to her cat, let her dog sniff her goddamn <laughs> And not only that, she done broke up for her husband, even though she admitted doing it, and did this little s scandal, or scam, marriage scam. Well, let's just say marriage fraud. Basically, she just wanted to move to Canada and use them for money. That's basically gold digging. And then she does this little pretty girl, pretty girl cry as an excuse. She's going to Dr. K talking about this shit, and she's lying her ass off. Because, like, I can see that Dr. K is literally simply doesn't give a shit about her at this point just the way how he looks at her i mean just look at him he, he's he's like fucking, i don't know <laughs> it doesn't give a shit. i don't even know what exactly is going on behind the scenes i know i heard a lot of news and drama behind it and why just dr disrespect got banned but i'm not gonna go deep too deep into it because i don't know full-on information about it hopefully he makes the lawsuit against twitch and i hope he wins because twitch right now it's just nothing but douchebags over there. <sighs> Twitch terms of service. What do you know? Gotten really stricter. Gotten really, you know, giving people no warnings and shit. You know, it's gotten stricter than ever. Ninja's follower account is one of the most weirdest follower account I have ever seen in my entire life. And when you go onto a website that has the Twitch tracker, average viewers in seven days is two million. And the live viewers right now is actually one million, one point six million. And the live channels right now are actually sixty seven thousand. If you go to channels, right, and then you when you go to total followers, to be honest, this sh is actually so whack. <laughs> All honesty, this whole Pokemon situation, the whole simp army thing with the boyfriend thing and people and other streamers and backing up, packing her up and shit like that, acting like they think they really know her, but clearly they don't because they don't know her personal life like that. Because, you know, every other streamer does their, has their own lives to worry about. And I don't get why they are backing up Pokemon. When I saw, there was a tweet that I saw from Keemstar. Keemstar literally did a 2 out of 10 on Pokemon. And he planned that just to get people's reaction. In all honesty, it actually worked. Yeah, Keemstar is known for trolling. Keemstar is known for drama alert. Let him do his job. Don't give hate on Keemstar because you know Keemstar, he's, does, he's doing his job. You know, Keemstar, I would say this. That's a fucking thumbs up. You know why? Because he actually got what he wanted. Because all these people on Twitter, it's too many simps. It's too many 
content creators. They're defending Pokimane, and they don't really see that Pokimane can't even take criticism. Like, she can't take the heat at all. And all of them are just making fun of Keemstars about the past. Bro, we're not even talking about the past anymore, bro. Keemstar owns up to his shit. What do you mean by owns up to his shit? That means he owns up to his actual shit. He knows things that are f***ed up. He apologizes for a lot of things. But Keemstar sometimes can f*** up. But at least he apologizes. But bringing up someone's past like that is totally f Even though when somebody admitted that he did something wrong and owns up to it, that doesn't mean you should be able to bring up his past. Because his past is already done for. But really though, it's about what's actually happening right now instead of his past. You can't just roast or talk about someone's past even though you don't know what's going on actually in the present. And you're just going to defend Pokemon by talking about someone's past. You think we don't even actually know this shit? The more you talk about it, the more it gets boring. It's not really good to prove a point. It just makes people look like they're idiots. Especially like bringing up Etika's death, for example. Why bring up Etika's death? That's just f***ed up. All honesty, I'm glad Keemstar did something at least because he made a bait for everybody. He literally just showed everyone's true colors because these people, these streamers that are like supporting Pokimane and these content creators that are actually backing up Pokimane, they're literally nothing but retards. They don't know exactly what's going on. They're not seeing both sides of the story at all. It's just literally retarded. Anyways, um, I'm going to stop it right here for right now. And I don't want to make a long ass video. And I don't want to be making a long ass edit. Because I know I'm going to be uploading once per month. But anyways. I'm just going to stop it right here. And also don't forget to uh, like, comment, and share. And also I will be putting my Discord link below. And my social media links. And if I miss anything. I will also probably make a part 2. I don't know. But if I really actually miss anything about the Twitch community. Or any information. Just let me know. But if I do end up um, saying something that that's not really proven, not really a proven fact, then I will reconsider myself to not to to not say them again because I know sometimes I get misinformed because you know that's how the internet is and the internet is actually pretty whack because you know the internet has a whole bunch of different shit. But anyways, I'm just gonna sit here and just let things go and. Hopefully you guys like this video, comment, share, and don't forget to hit my social media links below. And you have a you guys have a great day.